all this space. How many acres are you on? Three. I have a lot of plans for future videos here that not even my channel really knows about. You'll be able to see them. Oh, wow, no way. So is that like a... Yeah, it's a melanistic uh, tropical bar. That is awesome. Do you watch cartoons? No, but... Oh! <laughs> Come on, dude. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action. Conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Oh boy, we got some things happening over here. This is uh, this is Camp Kafaro. We're at Paul's new house. Look at this. It's an aquascape day. So the guys are out doing their thing and all. Oh, let me tell you, it's a crew. It's a crew. Uh, three of the best aquascape guys out there. One of the loudest, one of the most mouthiest is here. He's from New Jersey. Yeah, there he is. There's Jack right now doing his thing. Look at Paul doing his thing. Hi, Paul. Say hello. Hope you don't mind. No, this, this will come Can out. Film it. A normal video. That's how much I don't care. What? <laughs> nice. Wow. Just check it out. Are you stoked or what, dude, dude? You know what I'm most stoked about is the putting fish in it. Entrance way. You know what we're doing, uh, right? No. What's going on? Talk, talk to me. So this right here initially was gonna go between these two palm trees behind us. Okay. But then these things started dropping. Like I don't know what they dropped. They dropped too much debris. Like it would fill in the palm within like a solid week. Yep. So this right here, right against the driveway here, also right against the little sidewalk to the front door, you're gonna have koi fish, butterfly koi specifically. I want. What, what are butterfly koi? They like just have like those long. Oh fish yeah, yeah, yeah. They're real flowy. So they're really, really cool. I, I want something like that. So now the the bow falls up here. Let me bring you up here. All right, come on. So, Falls is right here. Okay. It's gonna drop down, pull out right here. After pulling out, you're gonna get this view from the biofalls from the driveway, front of the driveway. So you're getting one drop right there. It's gonna come down here, drop right here. So you're getting the view from these two rooms, the guest room and the office. See these two windows? I see them. Yeah, yep. they're, they're and nice. Then it's gonna, after that, it's gonna pull again and drop back this way again, which is gonna give you another view from the driveway. And so you're getting oh, all God. these different views. This is gonna pour. So if you're chilling in the garage or at the front door, you're gonna see that little pour with the light under it. So Sick. it's really cool. And then off this, this is the coolest part. This is all landscaped, right? Yep. Everything around here. We have so much extra rock. By the way, if you need rock, that's a lot. <laughs> no, well, you're going to need it. You should keep your there, rock, buddy. There's um, all this retention wall with all this extra rock. We're going to start it right here. Oh, out here. I know what you're going to do. Fire pit. Yes. Right there. We're going to elevate the ground okay. up with dirt and have like, you don't want to cover your biofall. Hold on one second. Stop. Yep. Have you ever watched cartoons? Do you watch cartoons? No, but. Oh, come on, dude. Why he got me so good? I did good. get you so good. I thought but, you were trying to tell me because I have no shoes No, on. dude, you got to turn this over. This kid, you get, you young folks don't know about Tom and Jerry, do you? You uh -oh. guys, they don't know Tom dude, and, and the Jerry. the worst part is I stood right above it. I know, Literally, come perfectly. on, dude. All right, all right, fire pit. Anyway, yeah, so the retention wall is going to come up. You don't want to cover the biofall view, so you're just going to keep like one rock height. Okay. Dirt go like this high and across the whole top, so hopefully you get me there. Okay. So chairs up here, lights on the outside of that, and from the front view, it's going to look ridiculous. That's awesome, And this man. will all be done tonight, and we get the fence going up, too. Wow, you got so much, he's got so much going on, and I know how, I know the stoke he has right now. This yeah, is his new house. This is literally what you did. This is exactly yeah. what I did, man. You're doing it at much younger age, which is awesome, because by the time you're my age, you may have moved to another house. You'll have so many different ideas. But why don't you just quit? Let's do a quick loop. Do you mind? Yeah. All right, let's go. Everything. I want you guys to see like the potential uh, that he's working with. Look at all this space. How many acres are you on? Three. He's on three acres. And just so you get a reference, Camp Kennan is two and a half acres. So he's a half acre bigger. Yep. And so, so he's got just a blank canvas here. Yep. The first thing we did, I have a lot of plans for future videos here. There'll be three different enclosures, you know, the goats, the mini horse, yeah. the, all this sort of stuff that will be going on back here that not even my channel really knows about. Then we're gonna this this pond right here. We just dug even bigger because I had the excavator. I was like, why not just kind of dig it when I'm bored? yeah, man, exactly. So I came out here. This all this dirt will be uh, flattened throughout the yard. I actually have to buy truckloads of dirt because this yard is so like marshy. It, when it rains a lot, it gets a lot of marsh. And if I don't do what the heck was that? That was just a little dove. dove. Yeah. <laughs> so if I don't <laughs> fill it in, the the goats and everything will get foot rot, and they it won't do good with their wet hooves. Gotcha. So I'm gonna fill in all this dirt throughout the yard, but this right here. Nice. It's dirty right now. Of course. It's crystal clear though. And it's just like yours. I mean, you just dig it. Let and the well water, water comes up. up. Yep. So I'm this gonna is going to be a turtle banks. pond, right? Yes, exactly. Awesome. I'm going to make all these banks real smooth. and. Yeah, well, you'll basically what you're going to do is just 
decorate the shoreline, yep. get some logs, lay some logs exactly. in there. Um, and that's what I'm excited about because, you know, I, I'm going to, I think the key for you, bro, is to, here's what I want to do with Paul. I do think Paul's heart's in the right place. He wants to learn more and more about reptiles and exactly. stuff like that. And you're in a position, bro, where you can actually do some good. Um, because there are animals that need homes. That's why I built this. I, yeah. didn't, buy, I didn't build this pond right here. It's not for buying. Okay. I'm not buying anything for this. Anytime I get a call or from you or right. anyone that says, hey, I have a turtle that needs a place to live. Gotcha. This is where it's going to go. That's and it's going to so be cool. insane too. So the fence for this enclosure will go right after that tree right there. Okay. So it'll be right after that. It'll cut across and then cut this way behind you. Gotcha. So we're in the square here. You can even this do is be land. Is yeah, be. There'll, be, there'll be land here. So what would be fun is I think if you make this kind of a tortoise area yep. too. So if you make the slope in nice, make this a nice slope. You don't have to worry about the tortoise flipping it upside yep. down into the water. But you can then uh, what I like to do is use the tortoises as kind of the maintenance. They'll eat the grass. They'll eat weeds. They'll keep it up. And then you can combine habitat, which is important. You'll probably have a few fish in there, but it's yeah. mostly turtles. Yeah, most oh, mostly turtles. I'll probably yeah. put Mayan cichlids. They're really hardy fish. Like, yeah. Those things don't die for, like, they don't need a filter. They don't need anything. Yeah, they just live. And they'll just breed. So it keeps the turtles awesome, fed if dude. they don't get the pellets that I do feed them. That is right. Look at this, guys. Look at all that space. Yeah. So it's a blank canvas, man. A lot of land. There's a lot to do. There's going to be a lot of planting, and you're definitely going to want to check out Paul's videos to see what... Uh, chaos he gets involved in but this is most cut this way. Let's yeah, let's go. It. We're gonna go this so way now. this right here You'll see when you walk up. It was blue when I bought the house. Yeah, now the pond's green. The pool's green uh, Why is that? I don't take care of it. Oh, I hear you. I well, care less about well, it. that's okay You know why you're probably gonna lift this thing out they aren't keep, you? They keep on plugging my filters So there's no flow right now. Okay, but the fish um, are back here in this back corner You'll be able to see them. Oh, wow. No here. way. So is that like a yeah, it's a melanistic uh, tropical gar. That is awesome. So it's an all black gar. I'm going to have to get my GoPro out and get yeah, some B-roll yeah, yeah. for Tom. Exactly. We got all sorts of stuff. So this is like Whoa, a marble what? hybrid, tiger shovel nose. I mean, these fish are really, really, really cool fish. How big do these guys get? Oh, all huge. Every single Dude, one of them really? get huge. So this tiger shovel nose, we have Zach, my buddy Zach, actually caught one that was like 35 pounds in the wild. Really? Did, are right they here. from? Where are they from? This one right here. And just literally, every one of what? these are from the same place. No Look way. Look at this alligator gar. Oh, that thing is so rad. You know how big this get? No. 150 pounds. Are you serious? Yeah. It, that's probably what? A pound, if that? Not even a pound. Yeah. No yeah. way, man. That thing is tiny right now. Oh, I'm definitely coming back with the GoPro. This is so crazy. And now, all right, so yeah, just a boring pool, but what's going in here eventually? Yeah, so you see this cut right here with the concrete? Right here, right yep. there? This right here, yep. um, from here on, is going to be cut out, okay. flipped out, just wrecked into pieces, thrown into the garbage. Same with this pool. If anyone wants a pool, let me know. Uh, you can have the fiberglass pool, pop it out of the ground for you. Now, it'll probably be destroyed by the time we get it out, but it's going to be a wreck pond. So no the same thing as your house. Yeah, it'll be like a year from now, but... But still, that's yeah. cool. Exactly. Going to have another swim pond in South Florida with another the aquascape, guys. So that'll be awesome. And you can put some of these big fish in there or yep, what, man? Exactly. All that these fish gonna are going to be amazing. Go. And then over oh here... It's the turtle pond. Ah, let's go see that. I know my viewers are going to love that. Yeah. So, right now, there's a little basking area. And as you can see, look at a little albino right here. You can grab any of them, too. Cool, man. Let's bring it out. Look at this little guy. Look at that. Musk turtle. Little musk turtle. Right on, dude. That's a little Florida native. Flip that up. Let me see the carapace. This one? Yeah, the carapace. That's the plastron. The yeah. top is the carapace. Cool, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, he's vicious. Yeah, they are. Musk turtles and mud turtles tend to be snappy. They'll, they'll oh. get you, dude. They'll get uh. you. Oh, he don't. Oh, he's a nice little. Fella. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at this guy's shedding his scoots. We were yep. talking about this in one of my uh, videos, an Ask Cam Kennan videos. The tortoises shed their scoots. Just started, actually. Well, there's the answer. Turtles do. That mean they're growing? That means he's growing. Yeah, he's oh, just cool. shedding out. See, look, awesome. they'll pop right off. Right like that. Awesome. If you just pop it right oh, off. Oh, wow. Yeah. That means and he's growing. Look how clean he is. He's all clean underneath, see? That's awesome. Yeah, you could just take your fingernail. I didn't even know just that. Just gently pull it. Now, if you get resistance, leave it alone. But go yeah. towards the back. Yeah. And the, the scoots that you're taking off are marginals. That's called the... Um, uh, actually, these are the coastals uh, and the yeah, marginals and the vertebrals. Oh, there it is. There it is, see? Wow. It's almost like kind of uniquely or strangely satisfying. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, wow. What check is this it on out. his back? No, nothing. That's just a little... Little oh from the little shelving. gack yeah, yeah it's no big deal some hard water this one, this so you got favorite. that's a pretty turtle yeah. yeah and you also have little 
uh, cooter right yeah, there, little, little peninsulares. Yeah. So look at this, it's cool. I gotta find the snapping turtle first. Oh, let me see, I love snapping turtles, dude. Yeah, I'll find them. There's actually an African side neck in here as well. I'm glad you're getting into turtles, yeah. man. Turtles yeah, are fun. this is my only pond for them. Oh, well, I see the African side neck. Get them, grab them. Yeah. Let me see, I'll see which type it is. So it's kind of fun, like if you like fish, you gotta like turtles. I mean, they're both aquatic, they're both fun, they got a lot of personality. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, this is the uh, Castaneus. This one, this is, um, I don't know the common name, but I, all right, so I'm gonna screw up, but you guys are gonna help me in the comments, okay? There's Peleomedusa and Pe Peleosis, Pelosis. Now, I wanna say Pelosis, Pe I'm, I'm murdering the Latin. I wanna say Pelosis does not have a hinge, but Peleomedusa does, and I'm probably saying that wrong. And these guys have a musk as well. But really? check this out. So there are African mud turtles that do not have a hinge, yep. and there are some that do. Now this one is a side neck, but look, he's got a movable yep. plaster on. He can close that just hinge. Just like the melanistic I have. Yeah, just like box turtles, yep. uh, the, these guys can close up. So that's pretty unique, but it's only in one genus of these uh, African See, that musk. That blows my mind, Ken, that you have that much info in your brain. Dude, I've been reading. I've been that's reading for nice. a long time. But here's the thing, bro. I mean, you're, you're kind of starting out you're 18. No, uh, no, I try. And and you're gonna learn, man. Yeah. That's the whole thing. And that's why my channel exists. Like I am all about education, teaching people about these animals, and then the conservation of these animals. So that's why we're here. We're having fun. And guys, you know what the cool thing is about learning? Um, anyone can do it. <laughs> so yeah. I just get annoyed at people. Uh, I like I like my my followers because we're we're so generally good people and we really want to educate each other and we do that oh, okay, in a good way. Hold on, Paul. I just want to finish this thought because yep. it's so important. Uh, so in the comments, if you see someone that's asking a question and doesn't know something, don't jump all over them. Help them out, okay? That's what we exist for. So it's about helping people out. What do you got right here, brother? No way. My favorite turtle. Yep. This is the, basically, the snapping turtles are the first turtles I ever kept. Um, they're that beautiful. Favorite one. Uh, it, they just look like dinosaurs yep. to me. And they can get one. really tame, believe it or not. He ain't too bad, actually. No, he's There's not one. snapping at me. I have gotten bit by him, but I kind of let him bite me. I wanted to see how it felt. Well, don't go too much longer. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Yeah, you don't want to get bit. I know uh, you could get a lot of views getting bit, but we don't want to do that. You oh, know, he's got a little wonky tail. Yeah, look at he's that. Had that since. So, weird thing is, I get, bought that's this so cool. turtle for my friend. and. Nick and he's had it since it was this big, like a yeah. little quarter. That's and awesome. now he grew it to this and he was like, hey, let's put it in your pond, it's bigger space for him. And now this thing loves tilapia, loves yep. to eat live fish in here. As you can see, there's minnows swimming around. That's perfect. But he looks awesome. happy, man. I've never seen him on the basking area. Well, is that's that, funny. Is they, that like normal? That's normal, uh, but they will every once in a while bask, but most of the time they're pretty aquatic. So yeah, and uh, I, I think, I've seen them in the wild basking but it's very, very rare. Yeah, and I think, to be honest, I think if he does, he comes over here, this is natural. Right. That's the one that has the, the light. The oh, light I see what you mean. And this one's like the natural sunlight, only in the morning. Gotcha, and you're using that ZooMed floating turtle dock. Yeah, I got that from you. Yeah, man, that's cool, man. ZooMed's always hooking it up for us. He's actually a fish in there. You'll see, there's a, you know the tiger shovel those I said? Got, like my friend caught a 35 pounder. Okay. Well, this is a baby, watch. You'll see it swim out when I pull this away. See it? Oh yeah, look at that. It's a baby one. That's awesome. Now, these, those catfish are carnivores, right? They're yep, going to eat yep, other fish? Yep. All right, exactly. so I probably don't want to put it in with my cyclids. Um, yeah, but man. He'll eat every one of them. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But guys, just look at this. And you got some fruit trees back here. Yeah, so a lot of the Gosh. person before me that lived here, I spoke with my neighbor and he said, hey, what's with all the trees? I was like, was he like in the trees? And supposedly he was, that was part of like what he did was just like having fruit. He would never eat. You know, what is that called when someone just? Oh, fruit of fruit of fruit of war. Uh, the guy said he never went to the grocery store. Like, oh, okay, he lived yeah. off the land. Yeah, so All he right. lived off the land. So he has a bunch of fruit trees. I mean, bananas, mango, mangoes, mangoes. There's all well, sorts of stuff. I don't even know half of it. There's star fruits out here too. Well, here's what's cool, man. Once you start raising animals, you're gonna have a supply of food for them. Exactly. And my goal is actually, since I want to do stuff with this side of the yard, I want to build a warehouse on it. I want okay. to do a bunch of stuff to this side. I want, I'm just gonna pop them out of the ground and put them 
where tortoises are. Perfect. So that if Good something idea. falls, they just eat them. That's I'm not going to waste them at all. Yeah, because what he's done is he's planted them in rows. Yeah. So yeah. you can actually landscape, you know, like you just said, just like create really cool areas for yeah. these plants. So he's got a wide variety. Look, there's some banana Bananas plants. This banana there. is actually coming off, guys. That's really? what's so cool here in Florida. Yeah, look oh, right wow. here. You didn't see this? No. Check it out, bro. They're, these are bananas. So this, you just leave these on here for a while uh -huh. and eventually they'll ripen up bananas. and you can eat fresh bananas, man. Wow. I, we just had some uh, in my pond in the front yard and it was great. And the other thing cool about bananas, and I don't know if you folks have bananas at home, but you can actually uh, take your shovel and cut this one out yeah. and move this to a really soggy area near the pond would be good. Yeah. I mean, um, they the love, really soggy yeah, they right love now. soggy areas and you can just start making clumps of banana plants all over the place so it's really cool yet another thing you can do with banana plants is when you start getting some more sulcata tortoises and stuff like that you can feed them the uh, leaves they like the they'll leaves. eat the leaves uh, my galops love it um, my aldabras love it so very cool stuff good fire starter too pretty the good dude one, the dead ones there you go there you go all sorts of things going on here but you know what folks we're gonna close this video off uh I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick video with Paul showing bonus you. Bonus video. Yeah, man, showing you what's going on here, dude. Uh, they're going to get back to work on that pond, and we'll be sure to get you some video of that pond finished. But actually, just go to his channel. Yeah. Check it out. Everybody All right, guys, we'll see you later. Don't forget to like Thank and subscribe you. and follow Paul on his channel if you're interested in seeing this guy transform this place into an animal paradise. We'll Seriously. see you later. Now these are lapids, by the way. So these are snakes that are related to the cobra.